I think it's the proper man. It's the proper man. Do you see how the proper thing is? Well, it's really kind of annoying me. Look. Look the way up. Hey guys! What is good? What's up? What's good, you guys? Hi guys! Hello! Hi. Hi. Oh, is it, wait, is this episode 10? It's episode, episode 9. 9. I need you to calm down. Oh, <laughs> damn it. Way ahead of the game. Way ahead. <laughs> oh, excuse me, y'all. I'll just please bless, pray, pray for me. I may have to take my allergy <laughs> medicine today. Oh, you have That's allergies? I have really bad allergies. Season. Hay yeah. fever season. Yeah. All I need is shout out to all my um, allergy sufferers at this point. We are not okay. Not okay. We're not okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. So, I don't know if y'all listened to the last episode. I hope that you did. But if you didn't, you should listen to it. Um, But we had some amazing guests. Our first ever podcast and, guest. And we had a it great was episode. Amazing. Great episode. It was a great episode. And we asked some questions on Instagram. And let's just talk about it for a little minute what you guys are saying. Okay. It's so, the accent for me. I don't She's know what's British going on. Now. Sorry. Okay. So. <laughs> um, asked on Instagram stories Do you think that there's a double stand up between masculine presenting women and feminine presenting men? And there was a resounding 100% yes to that question. And then we had another question. How can you slash us slash the world become more inclusive? And we got a response that said, I think it's important to understand different perspectives slash walks of life without getting offended. And I can agree 100%. Like, that's, that's one period. Like, offended and also... Like, don't be disrespectful. Right. Exactly. Like, have a life. Because there are billions of people on this earth who are different from you. And just because mm. they're different from you does not mean that they are wrong or whatever. It just means that they're different. Well, and you want to have respect. Like, the fact that they so exist simple. means they deserve respect. And exactly. that's just Period. That's just it. Um, they don't need you saying anything to them. You don't want to be disrespected. Them. Exactly. You don't want anyone giving their unsolicited opinion and advice on how you should live your life. So you, don't you shouldn't do have to have the yeah, like do the, the audacity to do the same. Make it make sense. Make it anyway. Treat people how you want to be treated. Mind your business and leave people alone. The golden rule, please and thanks. Right guys, so that's what you're saying. That's what y'all had to say about last week's podcast. And also, and wait, a oh, lot of people just want. I just wanted oh, to say some, that. Um, yeah, we got a lot of love just on that episode alone. Like, a lot of people thanked us for doing this, for saying this, for asking the questions that they would want to know. Um, and, you know, it's it makes me feel really proud that, like, we are doing this because mm-hmm. we have come a long way. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> I don't think we were we ever, really like... Have. Yeah, we weren't ever like homophobic or no, or anything like past. that, but just in our stuck in our ways and you know yeah. all that other stuff. So to bridge that gap, to have those conversations, and to you know just be shamelessly, unapologetically ourselves, I'm proud of us. So mm-hmm. congratulations, ladies. Yes, I'm proud. you know what that is. Great growth. Great growth. <laughs> <laughs> Period. Also, I just want to say before we move on, shout out to Goy season two drop drops yes. on a Friday. Yes. Please, if you have not checked Tyler. them out by now, Love. what are you doing? Go follow Goy Lane. Follow and enjoy it was the, the surprise Tyler. guest, the surprise for, guest me. for me. Surprise okay, guest. <laughs> okay. We follow Goy's Lane on Instagram. Follow yes. enjoy the Kaya Tough Swami. Follow I am Tyler Ray, who was the first, um, the first kitten. Yeah. For episode yes. one, <laughs> look out for the surprise guest and just, you know, subscribe to the channel mm-hmm. and support. support. Shout out to you guys. We love you guys. We love you guys. We miss you guys. Come back again. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, so that is what you're saying. You can always follow us on Instagram at Rules of Pointless, so you can interact with us when we do have this portion of the podcast. There are stories that we do that we want you guys to interact um, with. So listen to the episode, go to the Instagram, let us know what you think, and then we're gonna talk about it in the next one. So yeah, guys. We're back for the next segment of the podcast. We love to see it. Love to see that is it. where we. <laughs> where we highlight the dope things that you guys are doing in the community, in the world, just all around greatness. This week, I want to highlight a wonderful person who happens to be my god sister, but that's not why I'm highlighting her. I'm highlighting her because she's dope. Period. I am highlighting Megan Wowman of Emso, which is a Bermudian owned fashion brand she's a fashion designer um and she she is dope all around she won the bermuda i want to say it's like you know how back in the day in bermuda they had the um the fashion the what, fashion evolution? design competition uh, and like it would be different designers in the Bermuda and then they would have a mentor from different parts mm-hmm. of the world come in and I'm not sure of which year it was and I couldn't find it but she won it That's one cool. year and she's just been killing it ever since and she creates the most beautiful clothing I have been able to go with her to um photo shoots for her brand for her for her work and she is honestly she blows my mind. She's got her little studio here in the UK. Just all around amazingness. Just yeah. herself. Just dope and cool. Um, and she also does this thing called the Corona Chronicles, which I happen to be a part of in the summer of last year. And what she does is she highlights all different people from all over the world, talks about their experiences or interviews them on their experiences with um, the pandemic, how they have you know, made the way out, especially being creative, creatives and trying to figure out, like, what's next? How do I navigate through this? How am I going to stay creative? How am I going to maintain my brand? Just all these amazing questions that she asks. And she, with that, she's created a t-shirt um, that goes along with her branding for Corona Chronicles. And she also sells face masks. She's just, she's just dope. She's super So, yeah, cool. she interviews people from london bermuda europe like yeah man amazing dope content dope designer and i think you should check her out and celebrate her because she's a bermudian killing it and Mm -hmm. overall just dope individual so shout out to you meg shout out to emso and that is emso official on instagram all right that's me okay so this week i would like to highlight the Practical mm. Literary Collective, um, founded by Kristen White of Kristen.com and Aisha, Aisha, who we know Aisha. and love. <laughs> so I think it just um, they've just launched their website last week, just like literally just on Friday. Uh, so a little about them: Brackish Pond Literary Collective was founded by Bermudian writers Kristen White and Aisha Townsend. They've launched with a fiction and creative nonfiction writers workshop for adults in May 2020. And after the success of the course, they rolled out a series of courses designed to build on the literary tradition of Bermudian writers. And mm. I, I don't know how to describe the greatness that Aisha is because, I mean, we all know Aisha, but yeah. as far as our listeners go, like, I don't know how to put into words how dope she is as an individual i guess the thing is like i know aisha from back in the day i say back in the day it wasn't that far away and she was still dope then like exactly like, she's just always been dope her dopeness just just like evolved <laughs> this yeah. is so cool um yeah. but i don't know how to explain it like like just honestly vibe. <laughs> you just have to like go go check her out she is yeah. amelia pure hard on instagram just Mm -hmm. go check out her page and see what we mean and Kristen I've never actually met Kristen but I follow her on Twitter and she 
I, th- I do believe she's like the founder of Social Justice Bermuda as well. Okay. And um, just, I follow her on Twitter. She's a whole vibe. Like, just. Again, Touch me I don't. my feed, and I'm always liking them because one thing, the nail will meet the head when Kristen <laughs> Every <tweets. laughs> time. Every time. The one thing she's going to do is make sense. Right. <laughs> and be like, exactly. Like, hello. <laughs> And don't like, come back because she'll clear you too. Exactly. <laughs> just like, listen. Like, why? You, c- come on. Just words fail me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's just um, really excited to see that this has rolled out. I can't wait to go through and see what, what's popping up on there. Like I said, uh, check out Kristen.com.com uh, to, see, to learn more about Kristen. Uh, check out Aisha on Instagram and yeah it's just I really love how Bermudians are blossoming Mm. and like just we're doing a lot Mm -hmm. and I love to see it all like we can't there's how how many weeks have we just had all Bermudian we love to see it there's just too much going on there's too much going on like I'm like oh maybe I can switch it up but no because we just keep killing we it. really we don't need to look far <laughs> we don't it's right at there. all it's right in <laughs> front of us on. we love to oh, see you guys yeah. so my person <laughs> is dennis jokeman he's an artist he's been creating art since before i was as long as i have known him which is when i was probably like five he's been mm. doing it um and he was on i don't know if it was in a newspaper but i saw it on bar news um he creates these murals in his neighborhood. Last year, he did an ocean one. This year, he painted over it and he's done a safari. And it just looks really, really good. Like, it's just his, his like I said, has been doing it for so long. And his talent mm. is just, he is a very, 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 very talented man. He did a portrait for, um, I can't remember who it was, somebody in my family. He drew, drew, oh my gosh, beautiful. Like, his, so I'm like, how do you do this, sir? How do you really out here just being this talented he used to make puppets for children um at schools and stuff he's just really talented like if you guys i saw it on twitter i have to find it and send it to you lot but it's really it's really really dope and he's really been killing it and i love that he's i don't know if he's been looking to get like recognition but the fact that he is now being seen by the public public for his work that Mm. he's been doing for the last 20 plus years is really dope and i i love to see it Shout out to you. I love to see it. And it's dope. Hopefully, I'll put the, we'll put the link to the actual article so y'all can actually see his work because he killed it. Oh, yeah. Same. He created. Dope. dope. So, guys, that's another week of, I, I mean, I guess, are we calling it We Love to See It Bermuda? <laughs> because <laughs> I'm telling you, like, it's always Bermudians just killing it. Um, this is another segment of we love to see it and yeah keep killing it guys check out uh instagram again so you can see the highlights of all the people that we love to see so you can follow them get to know them support and also look in the show notes for the direct links all right uh, welcome back to the ghetto the ghetto this is the segment in which we look at what is going on on social media, in the media, and just in this ghetto place that we call Earth. And just be like, what are you lot doing? Because you lot be doing some ghetto stuff. Hello. So, <laughs> who's got the first thing for us this week? I have two things. Oh, Lord. The first one has to do with the ghetto. So... I saw this TikTok, it was on Twitter, but it was this TikTok of this woman that was saying that, like, instead of saying, let's call things ghetto, we need to call them trailer park. So, like, instead of saying, oh, that outfit is so ghetto, or her, her nails are so ghetto, or her nails are so trailer park, I said, I saw I'm that. here for it. Dead. I'm here for it. Let's get to the white trash. Because... Okay. 100% I'm all the way support. here for it. Let's switch the word up. Let's give it back to them the way that they yeah. do this. Like, the trailer park! <laughs> anyway, I don't even know how to segue into my next one because it's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I'll wait. Come on, let's settle down, children. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So my next one, like I said, it's not funny. Yesterday, my friend was over, and her friend had message her. Was like, "Oh my gosh, have you heard?" So the young man that um, saved the woman at the London Bridge oh. um, was actually one of her one of her friends. Um, and I just think it's so. It's such a sad. So it's sad. so sad, but like that's so brave. I could not imagine. But explain the story to those okay, that don't sorry, know. Sorry, guys. So, um, there was this woman who apparently, um, well, they're saying that she was trying to commit suicide, but she fell off because they were. Um, she was explaining that you can't just fall off of London Bridge. Like, there's no way that you can just fall off. You have to intentionally be up there. Um, but she she fell off the bridge, and he, this young man, I think his name's Jimmy, um, he jumped in after to try and save her. But he ended up drowning. She did survive, but he ended up drowning. And um, they found his body, I think, at 6 in the... Like, either 6 hours later or 6 the next morning. I can't remember what she said. But it was, yeah, it was a while after. So he he didn't make it. But people mm-hmm. are just... it's the, He's such a hero. Like, he's looked at now like... Yeah, you, like you. That's so selfless. I like to do that. I'm just like, wow. Like, right. at 19 years old, and you're thinking to just... Yeah. Save this, this random stranger. That's just... So beautiful. It speaks to his and character. Like, power what kind to of you, Jimmy. That is. That's so beautiful. I've seen some videos on um, of him, and he just looked like such a bubbly, mm. lovely person. I was looking at that today. Just like, oh, rest so in peace, sad. young man. Yeah. Go too soon. Thank you for. Wow. Thank you, man. For doing for just what being a right. hero. Just like, being wow. right like that. Love That's beautiful. Well, right not, over a stranger. Yeah. A stranger. Yeah. <sighs> well, um, I guess today I'm gonna have to highlight somebody that's just saying dumb stuff. Um, so this week we're gonna give it to Summer Walker, who has urged friends to stay away from vaccinated people. Did she um, really? Summer <laughs> Summer Walker <laughs> um sent a message to her um overwhelming dying fans um who said stay the f away from people who were vaccinated people are reporting a bleeding bruising spontaneous periods <laughs> <I'm sorry. sighs> and miscarriages from being in close proximity to a recently she wrote, she typed vaccinated, this vaccinated vaccinated person Oh, someone, <laughs> someone's always saying some dumbness, man. Like, she's always saying something stupid. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. Your voice is just so pretty, but you have everything else inside of your brain. Oh. It's I'm, so... I'm sorry. Ma'am. She said in close ma'am. proximity. Like, I'm do sorry. you know how ma'am. stupid that <laughs> I'm sorry. Did she say that if you, who are pregnant, come next to me, mm-hmm. who is vaccinated, you may have a miscarriage? It's true. It's giving... Okay. That's yeah, how it works. Not at all. The art of science, according to work. Summer Walker. It's not how it works. No, listen. Say what. Have your opinions on vaccination, anti-vaccination, corona. Don't believe corona. Have your opinion. Cool. But there has to be a line on spreading misinformation because at this point, it's gotten out of hand. Like, ma'am, but the fact it's that simple there's gonna science. Be people that actually just, will believe that. Is you know, people will believe this. It's and <laughs> you, like, somebody that was pro vaccination that, you know, what is gravely not even ill, but like has a high chance of catching corona and dying, could have read that message of misinformation and just pure foolery. It doesn't make it's sense. Sorry, like, it's, it's it just is not logical. That's um, and now That's avoided sad. the vaccine. Like, what is wrong with people? <laughs> You can have a miscarriage and come into contact with somebody who's something in their blood. Because uh, from some way, it just transfers over to you. Wow. Girl. Pray for someone in her brain, more. because I don't know what's going on. the baby. She's, she's she also said, I want to talk about, oh, you could, you could feed your child off of this. I could uh, give my baby Isn't this. Isn't she this pregnant? Purpose. She is pregnant. No, she is now, yeah. She, she's had the baby. Oh, she had the baby? She's trying to keep mm-hmm. her. Pray for the child. Pray, pray for, let's just <laughs> Listen. There's no excuse, actually. A moment of silence for Summer Walker. And her lack of All right, Shakara, it's your turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my 
Oh. I am here to ask the question, why are white women? Oh Lord. Just why? Why? What so, I don't know if you saw it. There's two things. I saw it. I was on Instagram. I saw this video that Cav on stage reacted to. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, a white woman mm-hmm. in a park just harassing a young man skateboarding. I so saw that probably, this morning. <laughs> there's probably a sign up that says no skateboarding and his hair with his skateboard. And she just has taken it upon herself to be the police and say, you can't skateboard here. But instead, of course, she has no authority. So instead of minding her business, like it is apparently genetically incapable for white women to do she has decided to chase him all around this she, she, she looked you say bold in her way around that place chasing that man just could not zigging and zagging and just all up in his space as if we are not in the middle of a pandemic like ma'am please no mask and then oh, ha- if if he had happened to hit her with said skateboard I'm sure she would have started I mean, crying about how he attacked her and it's just like why well, at the is end you so saw him difficult? throw that skateboard yes, that's was getting getting like, like I was get, yeah. I was getting the person recording said it's funny at, at this point and when I I watched the first time and I was like this is hilarious and you know how it like loops I kept what I couldn't I wasn't listening to what Kevin was saying anymore because I'm just like why are you doing this like like why do you, you look like, so stupid? stupid like do you not feel stupid are you not embarrassed are you not embarrassed, not embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Nella Rose what are you doing like why do you think this is okay and then also I literally just before we started recording I saw on Twitter uh this little news headline that I will need to find apparently Canadian music icon Jenny Mitchell says she decided to appear in blackface on the cover of one of her albums because she feels a connection to black men. See, my, no, see, I think at this point it's these things are marketing over. schemes and promotional <laughs> and schemes it. because you're just trying to stir up something because you can't be that stupid and ignorant in 2021. Um, I, I wanted to see, I wanted to search and see what, um, if this is a recent album or she just came out and said this about an old thing but literally just before we started recording i saw this so it's just a little screenshot of a clip and she says when i see black man sitting i have a tendency to go <laughs> when i see black man sitting i have a tendency to go like i know it like i'm a brother she told new york magazine i really feel an affinity because i have experienced being a black guy on several occasions journey mitchell how it's giving Rachel Jones. Jones. It's giving, How? Shut up. Hey, Juni B. Jones, leave us alone. Like, what do you mean? I find it. You know how stupid you sound? You sound stupid. I don't have the energy. You have something because... wrong with your brain. You idiot. How Why? can you think that that's okay? She said, I have decided to put on blackface. Like, you made that choice. And because. Because she, she has experienced other, being said, a black man. Black man. So that means, has, that means that I'm I I am want, black, I like a brother. She said, Power like a brother. To the <laughs> Dap me up, bro. Right, cool. Why? Like, How? Make it make sense, ma'am. It ain't making nothing sense. I just want to say, like, if you want. If you want to experience racism, just say that. Like, if you <laughs> like, want if you feel white to people be, have like... People want to be oppressed you, so bad. Like, you feel left if you want to be you oppressed, like, I don't know, I please, <laughs> come on up. Like, you, we can make it happen. Why do you want to be and oppressed? we can give it to you. <laughs> why do you want to feel oppressed? Like, I don't know what the fascination the is. I know, of well, I know what dope. They but, want like... To be oppressed. I want to be a... You do I'm, want to be t- I'm tired of being an oppressor. I want to be oppressed. Let me fit in. Stop. Uh, give me some racism too. <laughs> I experience racism. I experience it too. <laughs> Shut like, up. Stop it. Well, that's it for the ghetto. That's the trailer park. Absolutely. That is it for the trailer park. How did I forget so fast? <laughs> and we hated her. All right, guys, now we are 
back in to the Who Makes the Rules section of the podcast. This is the meat and potatoes of the podcast where we dissect, ask questions on who makes the rules on these societal norms. So we had a guest la- we had guests last week, so I couldn't ask my question. So I'm back and I've got a question for you guys. I wanna know who makes the rules on marriage being the ultimate goal for a woman? Who makes those rules? Did you see that on Twitter this morning? I did. You tweeted it. And I was like, what? I was, this is what? What? So, confirmation that (laughs) we we need to talk about this. (laughs) It's so funny. Okay. Who makes the rules? Not, not even just, like, for single women, like, for couples, couples that are not married, that are just happily right, just in their partnership, um, for people that are single that have no, desire. like, have no interest in ever being with a partner, that want to be single, like, who makes the rules that marriage is the pure state of resistance of, <laughs> life. <laughs> of life, of, yeah. I even saw it was a thread earlier. I don't know when it happened, but this this one man got dragged. His girlfriend got dragged onto the, this white woman. But I was going through the dra- thread trying to figure out what was happening, and like he was saying like, "Oh, no man's gonna want you. How are you gonna find a husband?" Da, 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 da. And then the guy was just like, "But who said that? That's what I want. Like, you think right. this, that that's a diss that I, I should go <laughs> find a husband? Like, <laughs> you know, that that TikTok trend. <laughs> who said I wanted to get married?" <laughs> oh yes, I did one of those on my Instagram. <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah, I don't understand the. I feel like it's. I feel like as a girl, for girls though, I feel like it's a thing that's taught to you from young because you have like you know the stories that you heard in Cinderella and Sleeping mm-hmm. Beauty and all these fairy tales and that is that's that's supposed to be your happy ever after. So I think mm-hmm. that's probably one thing that probably where it stems from. You're teaching your child yeah. from young that this is what you should aspire to to be or go aim for or where your life yeah. should go but and don't get me wrong marriage is beautiful oh, for sure. and i want to be married one day i love weddings i love seeing my friends get married all of that stuff but like there you reach a certain age and then it's just like pressure like oh, right. you're, you're single you don't have interest in dating anyone or like you're you're failing because you have you're not yet married and that is your that should be your life goal you know right. like is it should it be i'm not <laughs> not sure I feel like there are so many other things that we should be concerned about yeah besides finding a husband but um also like not even is cuz the 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 issue i think is not so much wanting or not wanting to find a husband is the is the notion that that is it like that is the most important thing you can do in life like sure go out and get married and be happy and start your family and live your life but is why does there seem to exist a mentality that for a woman that's where life ends like you Mm. you get married and it's just like okay i made it track you, right. you win <laughs> like, I did it <laughs> like, and then and then you start look um I was I was having a conversation with a friend about this this morning about how um it's not it's not a realistic like this is sort of a thing for for twitter trolls like but I think you have experienced somebody who actually does believe that so that's why this is going to be interesting who actually thinks that that is the life goal like my friend thinks that we have we don't know we don't actually we haven't heard this from the source like this this notion that that is it like a woman's life goal is to get married and you I see, feel like in the sure black, a lot of people in like the black too. community yeah. and like especially like even within the Christian community it's like it's up there it's <laughs> like there. Of things to do yeah. if you get married and you come back to church like you're in a different bracket like, right you are <laughs> yeah. you leveled up like, you you leveled leveled up. Up. like, like <laughs> right you I leveled could, up i could just hit broadway tomorrow and come back to church and like i'm like right. it's cool but <laughs> if i got married and come back oh i know you can't see it's like us. stop the press yeah. we need to announce celebrate like the whole <laughs> that's, that's so real it's hard 
Because, <laughs> like, I am 33 years old and I'm fine as hell. <laughs> and I am very single, like, um, but by choice. Mm. Because, you know, I don't want to be dating right now. I have things that I am working on. Like, I have a plan for my life. Right. And for me, anything else outside of that plan seems to be a distraction. I'm still working on it, like, finding a balance. But, yeah, like, I don't feel the pressure to be married. Like, I did at one point. I did at one point. But now it's like... I don't I'm not really it's whatever if it comes it comes if it doesn't it doesn't um I'm still gonna have kids I'm still gonna do what I want to do I'm find the right avenues to do that but like I don't know I just doesn't shouldn't have to be the end goal for yeah there's so like like I said I feel like there's so many other things that you can I even saw this this um another TikTok this morning um talking about just purpose like what what is your purpose in life and why does it have to be this big just astronomical thing like every day you're fulfilling your purpose by doing certain things it was like do bees and squirrels think that the fulfilling the purpose when they're just living life like there's so many mm. I don't think that you need to I mean I guess you it's good to have your goals but it's not you shouldn't feel like you're not fulfilled or um, I haven't reached I'm not a person anymore I'm not I'm not a woman because I don't have a husband or right yeah like you're That's still like very much exactly you're right I'm not whole because I like no you're still exactly very much like you person. haven't met oh, your yeah. full the full life quota until right like and you could be doing too. all of these great things yeah, exactly. but because you don't have a single. husband it doesn't matter like it doesn't oh. matter uh, why does a man's she's... place in my life hold such weight exactly. why? <laughs> I have, I'm all that other on by myself <laughs> why is the pressure on me like um i saw this girl on twitter she was like she said people need to stop asking her when she's getting when she's gonna get married why why is the pressure placed right? on us because i'm not the well, one anyway don't ask me when i'm getting married if i'm not engaged right? don't do that and <laughs> right? like, just why and why is the pressure placed on me why am i less of a woman because i'm not married yet like i used to you said you used to feel pressure to get married i never necessarily felt pressure to get married but i felt like I felt like there was external pressure for me to mm. get into a relationship and then get married. Like people, I feel like that's more of what or, I meant. Yeah, because I was fine, but the mm-hmm. people around me seemed very concerned with the fact yeah. that I was single. Because again, this always comes from people who don't know you because I was not single, but they didn't know that. And they mm-hmm. were always trying to set me up with people. And I was like, like, can you leave me alone? <laughs> Do you, like, I was, I used to be like genuinely concerned. I was like, do I look lonely? Right. Like, am I giving that off some type like of vibe? Or... Because I thought I was right. okay. But why do people keep, like, I remember it was it was some guy in church one day and somebody was like, oh, that's a nice one for you. And I'm like, because <laughs> who says I'm attracted to this person? <laughs> like, right. Is that a nice one for me? Do you, do you know him? Like, do you why? Know me? What? Just like, I just don't understand why we have to be so pressured into this sort of thing by other people. Because it's not necessarily, yeah. and then like, right, and then we start to feel, like... we start to feel less than, and I think that's probably why once you, that's probably why we feel like we made it once we do actually get married. Right. Because, because there's never the pressure so you put on yourself. So it's always like this, this unspoken pressure that oh my gosh, she's the. This is my personal experience, but like, she's a single one. I know she is feeling it because like everyone else is not single, and meanwhile right. I'm just like yo. <laughs> What are we doing? <laughs> you guys are doing something? Cool. I'm by myself. That's cool. I, I'm an introvert. I, I thrive by myself, you know? Right. So, I don't know. Yeah, it's like you yeah, said. It's so. never the pressure that you put on yourself. Well, maybe sometimes it is, but it's usually a result of, like, this, I don't know, this weird vibe that because you oh, are just not focused on that or, like, whatever it is, you are somehow failing or should feel like you're failing or not reaching the mark and that should be your end goal that's just not yeah, <laughs> just not it's, it's reality very, it's very problematic 
It's and very just, problematic. And then that just causes the the non single people who think like that they they start to look down on you. Like it makes mm. makes you not want to be around them. They start to like yeah. look at you with like these this pity in the eyes. <laughs> pity, the, like oh, yeah. the early single part. I remember so I was <laughs> me me yeah. and Sakela and her ex used to like hang out. Like the three of us were cool. And I remember mm-hmm. we we went to Mr. Chicken and we saw somebody and they kept calling me the dirt wheel and I was like. <laughs> like what? <laughs> like why? Why, must it... why? Why does it have to? Like right. why? Why can't we all be friends? Right. Like, just because they're in a relationship doesn't mean that. Like it's so that we're strange. Not so, <laughs> can I not spend time with my friend and her boyfriend because I don't have? A, and it's not even that I. Again, I wasn't single. <laughs> it just <laughs> it was not there. Like it just wasn't there. And like oh, we third wheeling. Why? Why did that? Why did you feel like one that was appropriate to say to me? To say, right. Two. Why did you? Why did you think that? Like, why can't mm. we all right, be make friends? Assumptions. Like, yeah, it's true. There's some. I my one of my very one of my best friends, my sis, um, is recently married, and um, I at first I was like hesitant to um, be all up in that space because I I know that. When you are married, when you're in a relationship, period, like you want your your space, you want your time to have conversations that maybe you're just not comfortable having in front of people, like whatever it is. I'm not married. I don't really, I don't know the ins and outs of that. So I always make a point to like kind of move myself, mind my business type of thing. But she was like, yo, why are you being like this? Why are you being worried? <laughs> like <laughs> when I like that, we just, just whatever is you yeah, we know you we know right. how you are we know like before we walk down the aisle we've always had this relationship nothing's changed you know what i right. mean and that's what works for them that may not work for everybody else but um yeah it's not always the case for everybody and yeah man there are some yeah it's just a whole it's, it's just different oh, it's <laughs> so weird it's such a weird thing like right. we can yeah. all be Have cool if we're all single, but then the minute we one or two of us move into the the other categories, like oh we're above you know oh I'm so sorry that you don't have somebody yet like why <laughs> yeah like, <laughs> like I know why it does must it be actually hard have to I don't change. know what that's like and it's like it's not like anything why are you making it like something it <laughs> yeah, was like, not I'm fine but myself. now I feel like I shouldn't be am I not supposed <laughs> to be fine like what is going on <laughs> should I uh, like what is happening and then don't <laughs> let you word. be the last one don't let you be the last uh, one oh my goodness trust me I'm Just, telling you it's so strange and I had to remind myself <clears throat> right because I have been the last one in friendship groups and not just like in multiple friendship groups but I have to remind myself often like there is no pressure to to fill that void so that I can be a part you know if people love me for who I am then my relationship status shouldn't really play a part (laughs) in any of that um yeah man strange it's really not okay and if it is the be all end all for you, good for you. But yeah, I'm and sure that's fine. Feel bad. Yeah, no, but like, that's fine. Like some people, people feel, yeah. um, love, love, and they, that's what they've always wanted. And I respect that. I get it. It's beautiful. Okay. And like I said, I love ce- celebrating people that are in love. I just think it's beautiful, <laughs> and I want that for myself. But, but, but it's just don't project yeah. negative yeah. vibes, energy to me now because I'm not where you are. And maybe I don't want to be there. Right. That's yeah. Okay that's it. That's the real thing. Like, I feel like you can get married and still go off and conquer the world. Like, that's the whole, it's, it's like we, we get all really? caught up in the fanfare of the wedding. But, like, that's, a wedding is the beginning. It's not the finish line. It's the starting exactly. line. Like, right. Exactly. Like, there's so much life to be lived post-wedding. So, the idea that getting married is the ultimate goal in somebody's life is just outrageous to me because like okay you got married and like do you stop living that, right? like okay she got <laughs> right. married and then she died like what <laughs> like 
<laughs> there's so much more to there's live so more but then like you were saying if that is your ultimate goal then fine but you do not have the right now once you've crossed this finish line in your mind that doesn't give you the right to turn around and start beating everyone else over the head for not getting there yet or not getting mm. there fast enough for you right. or not even wanting to get there like mm-hmm. exactly. like you feel like you now need to help them get get across this line because right. they're taking too long for you like that's not okay Just, like, like no. in the same sense that i have my i want to be a doctor and you want to be a teacher or you want to be an entrepreneur and that's your goal why is it? Why can you not not understand that the same thing can happen for every aspect of my life? Every mm-hmm. aspect. We're like, gonna have different wants and desires, and that's yeah. what human. That's what it is. Like, yeah. So it's no. It shouldn't. I don't. Like, stop I adding. Never, I mean, I'm pressure. 25, so I don't think I would have. I would experience. I. But even, I felt the because I have a couple of friends, um, including Lay and 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 OJ, That's like, y'all are the same age as me. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, you're older, but like same age as me, and your 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 wife and husband did up right now, and me, I'm just here trying. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, oh, but at the same time, I'm I ain't ready. I'm not even ready to be exactly. a wife. <laughs> a wife? I ain't ready for that. Like, so, that's the thing. Ah, but his journey is different, man. Timeline yeah. for everybody's life. And, and I even saw on Twitter that I feel like social media has made it like you feel like you have to get to a point yes. so much faster than you really. Everybody gets to where they need to get to. What just happened? Where they did? Oh, um, okay. everyone needs to get to where they get to at their own pace. You exactly. could be thirty-five and just finding a man, or you can be twenty-four and married with two kids. Exactly. But that's that's your life because like, everybody's journey. journey is different like i used to be like mm-hmm. that. i used to be like looking on social media like what am i doing wrong this person's got right. this this mm-hmm. person's got that but like you do that and you're not looking at you like i have accomplished so much mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. i i diminish those experiences because i was focused on one aspect of my life yeah. that, right. that wasn't wasn't Are going the way it? i expected it to go right. and had it gone the way I expected it to go or the way that I thought I wanted it to go, I would have missed out on all of those experiences that right. had enriched my life at uh-huh. the time that were just what I needed at the mm-hmm. time. That those experiences that I wouldn't trade for the world. Some of those experiences, hello, are why we're friends now. Like, right, this, right. this podcast talk. wouldn't <laughs> exist. Like, if not, yeah. if this thing that I was so focused on hadn't been placed on hold right. so yeah. that I could enjoy and experience that like like i my dreams were coming true before my eyes and i didn't notice it because i was focused on this Mm -hmm. other dream that that wasn't moving like that was madness so like it's it's really it's really damaging to look at other people's lives and be envious especially your social Mm -hmm. media because People put their best foot forward on social media all the time. Oh, yeah. You don't all know what's going on behind that picture. Exactly. It's just a highlight. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. people posting selfies looking happy and they're giving through it. Like, yeah. just mm-hmm. tears. You just you yeah. really never knew. So, that's another reason. Like, don't compare yourself. And even if, like, I decide I find the love of my life in two years and I decide I never want to marry him, that is also That's okay. Well. <laughs> like, it because I don't understand. Like, I understand because, again, I do want to get married. And I've had conversations with somebody who doesn't want to get married but would, like, would be in a long-term relationship. And I'm mm-hmm. like, well, what's the difference? But I think some people have been scarred because maybe the yeah. parents um, um married and got divorced or they're still married because if they get divorced this this and this is going to happen when it comes to assets and this this and so i can understand yeah. why people would be so can be skeptical or hesitant to want to even sign the paper mm. and if you don't want to then don't what don't. works for your relationship works for yours and if that's not what will work for mine then i don't do it <laughs> like as and that is like, the business of you and the person with whom exactly. you are involved. And exactly. If you don't get it and you're not in that relationship, guess what? It's not, it's not for you to get. It's not, <laughs> you, it's not for you to get. Mind your business, business and leave them alone. That's it. Work. Period. Gosh. Real talk. Man. It could all be so simple. <laughs> it, could all be so simple. <laughs> it really should be that simple. But yeah. You would think. People are. So let's like normalize that. 
let's take the pressure off. Let's not add added pressure where it didn't exist. Doesn't you know, be, just you know, let people. I say this all the time on my Instagram, but just let people trust their journeys and be good to themselves. You just oh. never know why a person is going in the direction oh that God. they are going in, what they've experienced. You know, so yeah. So yeah, I thought this was a, a good one. I've been thinking about this for a, a little while. Um, but I just wanted to bring it on the pod at the right time, you know. So um yeah guys, let us know what you think, your thoughts, your feelings on the pressures of being married and having to be get married and all that other hoopla right. <laughs> that we experience as women. And hit us up on Instagram at Rules Are Pointless. And hit us up on Twitter at Who Makes the Rules Podcast. You can email us at WMTRPodcast at gmail.com. Sponsors, hit us up. We're always looking to add a little sponsor here and there. Paid, of course. Um, <laughs> and... Also, check out our YouTube channel, WMTR Podcast, and it's lit. Ooh, uh, disclaimer, so far we have four episodes up, but there will be no episode five because the, the video has mysteriously it disappeared. Doesn't it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. Dun, so, dun, um, dun. Uh, episode six will be up next. Definitely check it out. We have like a, a YouTube um little fan base people that just enjoy watching us so hey hey guys hey, guys. hey besties we're doing a little visual wave <laughs> <laughs> um to them and yeah make sure you check it out because shakara's lit she's been added in on youtube and yeah guys you can follow me at helena pipe underscore for all of your musical theater theater acting performing arts greatness and the like you can follow me at sakela for all of your fashion needs. And you can follow me at underscore just Kara for all the things. Period. And we will see you next week <laughs> um, on Who Makes the Rules. Bye. Bye, Bye guys. <laughs> <laughs>